do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So we're gonna go old school today and revisit the Dreamcast. And we're gonna talk about a homebrew program called Dream Explorer. And the reason I like this program is basically it's a, a CD image that you burn to a CDR. So here is my example here. So in the video description, I have a link where you can download the free homebrew image. You can burn it using like image burn, for example. And it has a bunch of um, DC game files, Dreamcast game files on here. So I want to get some saved game files, 100% files for some of my favorite fighting games. So I don't have to grind and grind and grind. So what's cool about it is you can use Dream Explorer, copy the save files directly to your VMU. No messing around with Dream Shell. No messing around with getting save files and get an SD card and copy it from the SD card to your uh, VMU. This is a very simple process. So let's showcase how this works. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead. So if you have a Dreamcast, uh, certain models can play uh, burnt CDR discs. So I believe the cutoff is like November 2000. Um, so the older the Dreamcast, the better, of course. I do know that if it's the black sports edition, that definitely can play um, uh, burnt CDR disc games or programs. So we're loading into it here. You can select like a default theme. I'm just gonna select the PSO theme for now by pressing uh, A. And this is what it looks like, Dream Explorer. And once you're here, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. I won't go into every single option. I'm gonna go over the most uh, useful option. So the one is open VMU. So go into your VMU. And if you go to extra blocks, you can actually enable 41 extra blocks and um, I already have that on, but yours might be off, so go ahead and select on, and then press uh, save, which is the start button. And there's a lot of different things here. You can do file manager, you can change the colors of your VMU, and all this other stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press B. Let me just lower down the volume just a tiny bit for now. Press B again, and what's most interesting to us today is the open CD. So you open the CD, you go to VMU saves. This is where you have different folders here for that contains different uh, save game files. So if I go into the blue swirl folder, here we see there's a bunch of games here, uh, different save files. So for today's example test, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to press, you know, the right D-pad to skip a page faster. And we're going to use Marvel vs. Capcom, the, the original game, the first game as a test here. So here's the folder, Marvel vs. Capcom. I can also read down here to see the file path. So I'm gonna press A. And in this particular folder, we have two files uh, up for grab. So I'm gonna try this first one here to save triple zero. So all you gotta do is press A. Copy to VMU, say A. Select uh, your VMU, say A. And then down here, do not change the file name, just leave it the same, and then press start. And it's gonna start copying it over, it's gonna say, do you want to override it? Say yes or press start. It's going to delete it, add a new file, and then you're good to go. And that's it. So now what I'm going to do is let me just exit by pressing B. Go to exit here, press A, and let's return to the boot menu and press start. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do next is let me go ahead and swap the disc out for my Marvel vs. Capcom game. So I'm going to open up the Dreamcast. Swap it out, put the new disc in, and press A. So I know there's a lot of classic games for the Dreamcast. Um, you can't do as many mods on the Dreamcast as you can with other game consoles like the PS2, of course. But uh, I did recently got a chance to get the Dreamcast to play online in 2019. It's pretty awesome, so I'll probably do a future tutorial. And if you wish to learn how to burn CDR discs for the Dreamcast, I'll have a link in the video description where you can see basically the, uh, some older Dreamcast videos I've done. And maybe one day I will redo those. Okay, so here's the game. If you guys don't know, this is a fighting game. And there's a lot of grinding you gotta do if you wanna unlock the characters, right? or press all these special um, buttons, key codes, to get the hidden characters. So I'm not gonna mess with that today. What we're gonna do is um, load the save game file. So go to options for this particular game, go to backup, 
I'm gonna load my save file, say yes. And I know it's working because on the main screen here, we have this mode, this is a brand new called Onslaught. Onslaught is a freaking hard option to get because you have to unlock all the characters and uh, do this and that. It's just a very tedious, very hard method to finally unlock this, this mode. But today, uh, we're gonna do it real easy because we have the save game file. All right, let's do this. So this is, you know, just, you know, just a lot of fun, just playing around with the games. Maybe you have your favorite game and your game's uh, save file got corrupted, or maybe you don't want to spend the time to grind, so you want to use a, a save game file that someone else did that has a lot of good stats or money or items or whatever. I totally understand. So it's a real good way to rekindle and um, just nostalgia and old school gaming, really. So that's today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll be back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.